Hi guys, Aaron Dore here with the American Firearms Association with an update for gun owners on where we stand in the fight to stop the radical left's insane push for gun control right now in Washington, D.C. You guys have been hearing from us nonstop for the last week. I realize that. I'm sorry for so many emails and updates, but there is so much going on that we need to keep the pressure on Congress to defeat that it's been kind of an all-hands-on-deck situation. This video is going to kind of encapsulate the four main threats that we're facing right now, what the these bills would do, and more importantly, the schedule on floor action on these votes, which is taking place next week. So guys, here we go. We're going to break it down very fast for you. Number one, we have H.R. 7910. This is the major omnibus bill that was heard in committee this past Thursday. This is a massive eight, nine part different bill, all kinds of gun control crammed into one bill. This deals with bump stocks, uh, raising the age of when you can buy firearms, magazine limits, secure storage requirements that leave you unarmed effectively against a home invader, and a whole lot more. That bill cleared the Judiciary Committee this past Thursday and again, H.R. 7910 is on the calendar for a vote. And as far as where our sources tell us right now on Capitol Hill, we're going to see a vote on this bill sometime between this coming Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. and approximately Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The first vote next week will not be cast until 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, and they're leaving early afternoon on Thursday. So these, this is the window on this bill. This is a huge omnibus gun control bill, guys. It needs your immediate attention. We have an action campaign set up for this. You can see it right here, stophr7910.com. Go there right now. That has a pre-written email, goes right to your congressman. It tells him, Republican and Democrat, different messages, but it tells them to vote no or pay the price on this going forward. That's number one. There's going to be a vote on this in the next couple of days. Take action fast. Number two, perhaps even a bigger threat right now, H.R. 2377. This is Congresswoman Lucy McBath, Democrat from Georgia. This is her bill to pass a national red flag gun seizure law. You guys all know what this is. This takes away guns from Americans who have never even been charged, let alone convicted of anything in a court of law. Almost anybody could say that you might be dangerous to a liberal judge in a secret hearing that you can never attend, and then the judge can say, you know what, we're gonna grab the guy's guns and we'll figure out later on if he should ever have them back. This crushes the Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Amendment, obliterates the idea that we're innocent until proven guilty, and it shreds your due process rights. But this bill has a massive number of co-sponsors, it's already cleared the committee hurdles in the Judiciary Committee, and this bill will be voted on next week. Steny Hoyer, Democrat leader, has already announced there will be a vote. He did not give the exact date and time, but we know it's going to be between Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. and Thursday early afternoon. This is a huge, huge threat to gun rights because this is where the Republicans in D.C. are coalescing around. And so this is a real red alert, pardon the pun. I want to be clear before I move on. This is the bill that has so much Republican support. If you've been reading our emails over the last couple of days, you know that we've told you Mitch McConnell has authorized a team of rhino trader backstabbing Republicans to negotiate with Chris Murphy, who is the, the point man for Chuck Schumer on gun control in the Senate. And these rhino traders, there's at least four of them, you've got John Cornyn from Texas, Lindsey Graham, South Carolina, Mitt Romney, Utah, Tom Tillis uh, from North Carolina. You've also got Susan Collins in there from Maine. This cast of idiots, their primary goal, they're publicly saying, is to coalesce around red flag gun seizures. They are okay with some form of red flag gun seizures. And the National Rifle Association has not condemned this. In fact, they have previously very publicly spoken in favor of red flag gun seizures. Our sources right now on Capitol Hill are telling us that all of these rhino traders and all the rest of the ones who are kind of lurking in the shadows have been given the green light by the NRA to have some form of red flag gun seizure push. 
they might want to have a improved version of red flags. And what that might include is removing the secret hearing portion of this legislation. But make no mistake, there's no okay, there's no good version of a red flag gun seizure. The idea that an American can be disarmed never having been convicted in court of a crime is the absolute anathema of our due process rights and what it means to be a citizen in this country. But the Republicans in D.C. are actively working with congressional Democrats to make this happen. You must help us stop this. Go to StopRedFlags.com. This is the other action alert. StopRedFlags.com. And this email goes to your Republican uh, and Democrat members of Congress, both chambers, House and Senate. And this has to happen, guys, right away. If you're watching in a red state right now and you say, well, these four fools don't represent me. I live in Iowa. I live in Missouri. I live in Ohio. Look, the cast of characters here runs really deep. Roy Blunt, Missouri, is openly talking about some form of gun control. Rob Portman, Ohio, longtime supporter of red flags and universal background checks. Um, you've got a lot of Republicans in the Senate right now who are very open to some form of compromise deal. And red flags is where they are coalescing. So take action no matter who your senators are. Number three. H.R. 8, this is the Universal Background Check National Gun Registry Bill that Joe Biden is constantly demanding a vote on in the Senate. H.R. 8 has already passed the House last year. It had a bunch of Republicans voted for the bill on the floor, and this bill is now pending action in the Senate. Again, there's a large number of Republicans who have previously expressed their support with a common sense background check. We all know what this is, a background check that makes it a criminal offense to conduct a private transfer of firearms in this country is designed for one purpose, to track, trace, and register every gun owner in America like a sex offender and to make felons out of Americans who hand down family firearms to their children or their grandchildren or somebody else that they love. That's what this bill would do. Every mass shooter over the last 10 years, uh, almost everyone without exception passed a background check. They simply do not stop criminals. Everyone in DC knows that the real purpose here is to track gun owners. HR8, that is the bill. It has been added to the Senate debate calendar by Chuck Schumer. What that means is that it's el eligible for floor action at any moment. We do not have an exact date and time on this bill yet, but it was recently placed on the debate calendar. It is now eligible for a full, a full vote in the U.S. Senate. And finally, we have the AR-15 ban. You know, the policy calls it the assault weapons ban. This legislation, H.R. 1808, the Senate version is S-736, makes it a felony for anybody in the country to buy an AR-15, or any one of hundreds of similar sister-style firearms. This includes rifles, shotguns, handguns, hundreds of different makes and models. It's all listed off in their legislation. Hundreds of members of Congress, Democrats, have co-sponsored this bill. 36 members in the Senate Democratic Conference have co-sponsored the bill over there. Just a couple of days ago now, Pelosi has announced her intention to hold a vote on the floor on an AR-15 ban. We do not have clarity right now as of this moment on when this vote might take place. When we get that, we'll give you guys action alerts to, to contact your members of Congress. But this is a big push right now for Nancy Pelosi. And here's the real problem with this. We now have Republicans openly publicly in the news saying that they too will support making felons out of Americans who want to buy an AR-15 or similar firearms. In the last couple of days, Adam Kinzinger, Republican piece of trash from Illinois, Chris Jacobs, Republican piece of trash from Western New York, and others have come out and said, yeah, I'll vote for that. And right now, what's happening, this whole last week, they've been on recess. And what's happening in the last couple of days is all this behind-the-scenes negotiation taking place between congressional Democrats and the congressional rhinos. And they're trying to figure out how many moderates can we pull over to our side to give this bill the air of bipartisanship. Because if they get Republicans to crack on this, 
if they get a handful of them to come over, they might bring 10, 12, 15 of them over with them. This is happening right now behind closed doors. We'll have more action alerts for you guys in the coming days. But these are the four big bills. We know we're going to see a vote on these two right here. This coming week, we, we're not sure when we're going to see a vote on H.R. 8. It is eligible right now in the Senate. And the AW ban, we're going to wait and see. They've just announced their intention to hold that vote as well. Four major threats, guys. We have action alerts ready to go right now. StopRedFlags.com. StopHR7910.com. Go there. Take action. Fire off your emails, make your voice heard, and guys, join our fight here at joinafa.org. That's www.joinafa.org and join this organization as we fight back in Washington, D.C. And guys, share this video everywhere. Social media, email, forward it to all your friends and family. Get everyone you know who cares about gun rights involved in this fight. It's going down next week in Washington, D.C. We need all hands on deck. Thank you.